Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build a Sandown class mine hunter, uh, which is currently used by the Royal Navy, Royal Saudi Navy, and also the Estonian Navy. So used by a couple of uh, countries to actually do the main, you know, finding mines. Um, I don't think it directly deals with actually, you know, di you know, uh, making sure the mines don't go off and those things like that. Uh, but it's a pretty cool smallish ship, uh, so it's 52 blocks long, 24 blocks high, and 13 wide. So it's quite a nice smaller size ship, and I have actually haven't seen that many kind of mine hunters um, around, especially in Minecraft. So this is going to be a layer by layer tutorial, like most of my tutorials are. It just makes everything a lot easier, and it makes it super easy if you guys want a break, and I'm you know you can come back to the layer. You can say that you've finished on layer number seven. And then the next layer I'll be saying, you know, and now onto layer number eight, and you'll be able to pretty much pick it up pretty fast. But this is going to be a qu pretty quick tutorial, um, and it's going to be a pretty easy tutorial. So it'll be a nice starter tutorial if you haven't done any of my bigger tutorials at all. Um, so if you are building this one under the water, you kind of have a choice because because it is quite a small ship. Um, you can either have a layer of red and black showing, so you'll actually be two layers underneath the water. So I'll just grab a block to actually show you what I mean. And I might grab some water as well. Uh, I don't know why I picked grass, but um, you could have your water here, where you'd be three layers underneath the water, um, and just have the black layer showing. Or what you could do is have two layers underneath the water and have a layer of red showing, but the problem with that is that you then see these engine parts above the water. So what I actually recommend doing is having your water layer right here and building three layers underwater. But it is up to you. If you're on Xbox and you don't want to dig out all of the stuff underneath, then you can just do two layers underneath the water and it'll look fine. You'll just have a little bit showing at the back of these rudders and also a little bit of the propellers. Um, so let's get started on this build anyway. Okay, so for layer number one, so again, if you're doing it underwater, you'll either be two layers or three layers. If you're three layers, you won't be able to see these those blocks there showing up, but if you're two layers, I'll make it a little bit easier for digging out. Um, so what we're going to do first, just lay down two blocks, then we're going to go three blocks wide. I'm just going to do the outline of these parts, and this is going to go back by three. So you got one, two, and three like this. So you guys will be filling this in solid. We're then going to go five wide in total, and this one here goes back by 28 blocks, counting this one. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. And again, this will be five across. So I'm just going to create the box for this one, and then I'm going to fill it in later. So you just drag this one all the way back as well. And then right on the back, all there is is just three blocks just going across the back part like that. So then just fill in this layer, and you're done for layer number one. Okay, so for layer number two, what you're going to do is you're going to come forwards, and you're going to go forwards by a total of two blocks like this. You've got two forwards coming this way, then you've got two, then you've got three. So it's basically just outlining the last layer. The next one's going to be 30, so it's going to be two more than we did last time, because the last layer was 28. So it'll be right up to the back here, then add two blocks like this. So it should be over by two. Maybe it might be clearer here. So you've got two blocks over the last layer. Now what we're going to do is you're going to come in and you're going to have two going across the back here. How oh, oh the fuck? Oh fuck's sake. Then what we're going to have is you're going to have two blocks going across this side here and then just one across the back. So if we just do the same on the other side as it's really, it's quite a small ship so I can do this actually with you. So for three then this one's going to be 30 so drag this one all the way back. Right to here then add two blocks. And then we just got two in going across like that. And then all you're going to do is come on the inside, just put, put down and cover up those last blocks like that. Now we're just going to put in the propellers and that will finish off layer number two. And then for the propellers, all we're going to do is, well, we've got this two here, we're just going to add four blocks. So you've got one, two, three, and four, just of iron I usually use. And then you've got gold. And then all we're going to do is just create this simple propeller pattern. So you've just got two blocks of gold coming forwards and then you've got them going around the sides. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four of iron. Two blocks of gold. And just on each of these diagonals you're just going to put down a couple of blocks like this. Then what we're going to do is you're going to leave a block gap between these and then you have two red like this. And then on the bottom you have one red. This is just for the rudder system itself. 
So you've got this there here, and you can also build this one up by an extra layer, as it'll save us a little bit of time later on in case I forget. You can also, if you want to, actually cut into the ship part here and bring these back so that when you do do the interior, you know where to actually connect in. If you wanted it to be correct, you can actually correct, can connect in the engine parts right into these shafts right there. And that's it for layer number two, two so let's go on to number three. Okay, so for layer number three, you come to the front and just come forward by one block this time. So just going to come forwards here, and then you're going to have a two, so it's just outlining another two as well, and a three, and then a 30. So this one's going to be directly the same, just out by one as the last layer, like this. So bring this one all the way back, so it's directly in line here. Now you're going to have a two, so this is going to be going this way. And it's just going to be five across the back, which will just cover up this back piece. So do the same on the other side. And then once you've done the same on the other side, all you need to do is come to the inside, and there's just two blocks here. All I did on mine is I just covered up both of those parts there, but it's really up to you. You could, if you wanted to leave those bits in, um, it doesn't really make any difference on the actual outside part. Um, but that is it for layer number three, so now onto the black layer. Okay, so we're now onto layer number four, so what you're going to do is you're going to come forwards, and you're going to come forwards by one block, and the next one is going to be a one, and then two and then two, and then a three. So you've got one, one, two, two, three. So it's basically exactly the same, just outlining the last layer. This one here is going to be 34. So if you just do 30 for the time being, because you won't have to count out this one, 30 will be directly in line with the last one. And now you're going to add four blocks. So you've got one, two, three, and four. Then what we're going to do is you're going to move inwards, and you have four blocks. So you've got one, two, three, and four, like this. And then you're going to have a two, and then across the back there should be five, so you got one, two, three, four, five, like that. Do the same on the other side, and I'll show you what to do at the back. And then once you've done the same on the other side as well, all you're going to do is just grab your black wool, and you're just going to cover up these ga gaps with the black wool itself. So just go around, do all of that, all of that kind of section like this, and then you should be well out of the water by now as well, which is good. And then we'll be onto the grey layer here, so either light grey wool or iron blocks, it depends on which texture pack you're using. Uh, but most Xbox users will be using the light grey wool, so let's go on to the next layer. Okay, so for layer number five, this one is super easy, it's pretty much directly on top of your black layer. There is one slight difference right at the back, so if you bring back either your iron blocks uh, or light grey wool blocks or even stone blocks, it's up to you which kind of colour you want to make the kind of grey whole colour out of, um, really does depend on the texture pack for this, but if you just bring it back on this long run here, now the next one we have was 4 before, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're actually going to make it 5, so we're going to have 5, then 1, then 5 across the back like this, so this one will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then bring this one straight on top, so it's a super super easy layer, most of the rest of the ship is now pretty easy, so that finishes off layer number 5, so that was pretty good. Okay, layer number six, what you're going to do is you're going to come to the front, come forwards by one block. Now what you're going to have is you're going to have a two. So one of these blocks will be on top of the next one, and then you're going to have this one here. Then you have one, then a two, and then you're going to have a four. So one, two, three, four. And then this long run is directly on top. So let's bring this all the way back. Like this. This next one here is going to be six this time. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's going back by one again, and across the back this time we've got seven. So it's getting extended by one block on the back for seven, so if I just go to the front again, just make sure you guys have got this bit, so it's one, two, one, two, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then this one's just straight on top. So do that, and we'll get on to the next layer. Okay, so for layer number seven, what we're going to do is, the first one is just going to be directly on top of the last layer, so we've got one, one, and now we're going to have one. Next one is three, so you've got one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four. So it's mostly on top for the kind of uh, this next, this layer. So you've got one, 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 three, four. Now you're going to do is you can have two, and now a 27. So you're going to go out again and have 27. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Now you're going to have five blocks here, so you should have five directly on top. One, two, three, four, five. So that lays up. That, that kind of connects up correctly. Then just bring this wall 
back again. So this is just creating this kind of side uh, part that just sticks out on the ship. You can see this part here. This is all we're doing here. This bit that goes across. Um, and then if we go back right onto the back again, we should have six here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a seven going across the back, just like the last layer. So do the same on the other side, and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so once you've done that on both sides, what you're going to do is you're going to grab grey wool, which is going to be your main deck colour. And all you're going to do is just fill in the gaps that you've got in here with your grey wool. Fill all of this in, and that is going to be where the rest of the actual ship sits. So we're, we're literally on this layer here, so we've got this kind of flooring going in here, and I've also got it going on the inside that you can't really see it. Um, so we're just filling that in. So... Fill in all of the deck, going all the way up to the front as well, as it does this kind of part of the front here. It's the same level. Let's do that, and we'll get onto layer number eight. Okay, so we're now onto layer number eight, and for this one, I'm going to start just kind of, in a way, building it section by section. But we're just going to build this kind of, the kind of general shape for the, this long raised up section, uh, and then we're going to finish off the front part, as we can do that in one pretty easy chunk, um, as well as just finishing off the back part. So all you're going to do is, where well, we've got this kind of, this part that sticks out, just come behind it like this, and then we're just going to bring this wall just on top of the last bit here. And that just goes forwards by one block forwards of this part here, and then we should have nine across the front, which should just fit into here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Bring this one all the way back again as well. So bring this back here. So it should just be directly in line. Build this up to a total height of three as well. So we've already got one layer. So let's add an extra two blocks to it. Just like this. And then go around all of that, but up to layer three, and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, and then once you've built that one up, what you can do is come to the front, and we're just going to finish off this entire front section. Let's come to the front, and you, off this block here, you're going to come forward by one. You have one, then two, three, and then a one. So it's just one, two, three, and then a one like this. And then all you're going to do is grab some iron bars and connect this in. You can either use iron bars or also you can use, you know, never brick fence or fence. It's really up to you what, what kind of looks best in your texture pack. Uh, but that just builds that simple part there. Okay, so now we're just going to build the anchor system. So where we've got this kind of we've got the three here, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut into this bit here and we'll cut into the actual deck as well, so we'll leave a gap here so we'll just do that on both sides and then you're going to put in an iron bar here come out, come down by a total of three, so you've got one, two and three and then just add one to each side like this and I'll just build you a really really simple small anchor using the iron bars, so same here you've got one, two, three add one to each side like that uh, what I now did as well is I just put in a floor just here like this. Um, this is where the actual kind of chain system, which I used animals for, will actually go in. We're just going to build the gun now. Um, another thing you can do actually is if you have weighted pressure plates, you can actually put these on top of this this part here. Um, it's really up to you if you want to do this or not. I just think it adds a little bit extra depth. Uh, so when you're actually on here, you can actually give it a little bit extra. But now we're just going to build the gun on the front and we'll do the chain system. Okay, so what you're going to do is find the middle of the ship. You can do this pretty easily by finding the front. Go right to the back on it. either side. You're just going to have a stone slab like this. Grab your block of iron and just bring it right in the middle here and bring it to the two sides like that. And then add an extra three on the front like this. There's just going to be a block here, here, and also one on the front. And there's just going to be slabs in these two parts here like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to have a fence. And I just went forwards twice with fence gate like this. So this kind of gives you this kind of gun like that, and you can also, of course, get up to it. So you get up onto this raised section. Uh, what I did now for the actual... Well, there's two ways you can actually do this. I'll show you two different ways you can actually do the chain system. Um, I actually cut into this part here, just so that it's got somewhere to go. Uh, you can use cobblestone slabs if you want to, so you just place one in here. And all you're going to do is just bring them... Oh, not there. You're going to bring them into that gap here. So you can bring them doing doing that that way, or you can also take off these and just have them go in kind of diagonally like that. Uh, what I actually did on mine is I used the anvils, so I had the anvils going here, and then I had one going this way, I think I had one going this way or something like that. 
So you're kind of connecting them together and then having the anvils being your actual chains. Uh, you, again, you can also do this. You can have the anvil going connected, or you can also have it going in the middle and then having it go into the side, so I actually might need to change these directions. It's kind of up to you, you can, you can kind of mess around to find out what way works best for you. Uh, with the anvils, of course, you've got the direction, so you have to kind of figure out exactly what to do with that. Um, but that is pretty much it for the front. There is also a ladder here, which I just put up going up to the top, so you can put your, your ladder in there, um, just so that when we actually do this back deck, you already have that there, but that's the front, that's the chain system and the anchors. So we're just going to finish the back and put in the crane. Okay, so we're just going to finish off the back section here. So just on this part here, we're going to make this go across this way by three. So you got one, two, and three. I actually put in my door here, so you can cut that out if you want to, and I put them on both sides. So you've just got these doors here. Then just on this part here, you're going to come here and you're going to go six. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's just going to come across by three, uh, by five in total across the back, and then build it up to a total height of three. That's where I'm getting messed up. So you've got this going across like that. That just gives you the kind of rough idea. We will be, uh, when we actually do this extension part, after I've done this bit here, we will actually be taking out a couple of those blocks, but for now, that gives you the kind of rough idea and where the doors are going to go. Um, then if you grab your block of iron or your light grey wool, we're just going to join these bits across like this. This is just so that we can, it makes it look a little bit smoother when you put down the iron bars on the back, so we can actually join these across here. And it's got that bit. You can always do it you know, straight on top of the actual grey wool as well, but I kind of prefer this. So that gives you the back part, then grab your block of iron, make a cross pattern right in the back and on the middle of the ship like this. Just going to add one to the middle, and we're just going to go diagonally by three in total. So we've got one, two, three, just extra diagonal blocks like this. Grab your weighted pressure plates, put them on just on the outside parts there. Grab your never brick fence, and this is just going to go on the back like this, and just leave it, leave the one on the top, and then just come down. I think I just came down by two in total. If you wanted to, you could go out on each side, but I think it looks too busy when you do this and does join in as well. So I just went down by two. Just like that for the actual crane, it's a really, really simple design. Um, but that finishes off the back bit. We're just going to now keep on moving upwards. We'll just finish off this. We'll just finish off this back part here, put in this little boat, a couple of these bits like the smokestack, um, and then we'll build on to the small kind of bridge and also the antenna. So let's get this done. Okay, so for extending this kind of back bit, what we're going to do is off this one here, we're going to add four. So you got one, two, three, four. And then you're just going to have two, and then it will just join up like this, so you get this kind of L shape here. So you got four, one, two, three, four, and then you kind of come in and you got a two like this, which will join on the back. So we can then get rid of this top layer like this, as we'll be doing something else with that in a second. Uh, and if you grab your never brick fence, I'm just going to connect in this part here, and also if I can actually place it, this part here. So just where we've got these extra bits here, it's just like supporting it really. It's probably going to be easier actually to do it from, yeah, there we go. It's a lot easier, so you're going to do, be doing it there. Then what you can do is grab your grey wool, and this is going to be the next deck. It does mean that you've only got a height of two in the kind of main deck um, underneath after you've done this, so you've only got this height of two. Um, but because it's a small ship, actually raising this to a height of three, it makes it look like it's too high out of the water, which is why you've only got a height of two in here. So fill in this deck all the way to the front and we'll get onto the next section. Okay, so once you've filled that in, well, we're just going to do this front part here as it's really, really easy. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to count back seven, well you're going to count back eight in total, but you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then when you're on the eighth block, you're just going to bring this across for the time being. We're not going to build it upwards um, just yet. It's this kind of front part here. Um, we're just going to leave it here. So you should have seven blocks. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right in there. If you just grab another, you know, your iron bar, iron block or your light grey wool or stone or whatever it is, and just join those two. We're just going to come around this part with your iron bars. And then wherever you put in your ladder itself, there we go. So that's why I put my ladder. So I'm just going to cut out there so that you have a way from this kind of front raised part to go down into where the main gun is. Okay, and then find the middle of the ship. You can find this again by using this gun here. 
and just go around and leave one block here and we're just going to put your stone slabs around that and then this is where a trapdoor is going to be so you can actually get onto this deck here uh, via the trapdoor or maybe put a ladder in for this section here which will allow you to get down here though you could if you wanted to of course maybe have the ladder on this side and then also have maybe a door on this side you could do something like that um, it's really up to you okay and then what you need to do on the front part I just put on some kind of sensor junk stuff so you've got four here and you can put in these, you don't have to make these exact this is just kind of what I did um, and I got some cobblestone wool if you're on the Xbox and you don't have that just use another brick fence and just kind of come up and create this kind of sensor and you could build another kind of bigger one maybe like that so this is mainly just kind of filling up this space with a little bit more detail uh, but it's not exact to the actual ship design so the next thing you need to do is from this block here go back by a total of eight so you got one two three four five six seven and eight do the same on the other side two three four five six seven <laughs> seven and eight i believe that's right there we go come to the back and we're just going to join around these bits grab your iron bars and then you can pull these ones across the back just to create the back railing and then drag this around just like that we're just going to build the actual um, the kind of outline of just this front section so we can actually count back to get to the smokestack or we can count from that side but, but we're just going to do the rough outline for this bit so let's do that now okay so what we're going to do is from here we're going to count back by four so you got one, two, three and four and this is just going to come across by two blocks in total then you're going to come in this way and you're going to have four so you got one, two, three, four so we'll do the same on the other side one, two, three, four two blocks here one, two, three, four and then it should be five across the back like this so this bit should be sticking out by one block past that one there if that makes sense we're just going to put this in like that for the time being um, or we'll actually get onto it a bit later but at least then we know where this section is and for the smokestack what we're going to do is we're going to leave a five block gap so we've got one two three four five then we're going to have a three by five going back so you've got three here next going to go back by five so you've got one two three four five same on the other side like this and it's going to be two high in total or well, at least part of it is like that so i can get rid of this part now like that and then once you've got this just the back well the ones towards the front these two are just going to be raised just like that and now grab your black wool and we're just going to go around it like this and we're just going to create the first one there and then for the second one it just goes on top as well so we're just doing these kind of small circles I just filled in this actual gap here as well um, just to kind of so that you don't see kind of into the blow decks you could if you wanted to bring these ones all the way down through the ship uh, it's really up to you and then just to finish up I put in a never break fence just on those two parts like that, that gives you a smokestack, you can also use um, if just have a look, there we go, cobblestone, uh, cobblestone? Cobble, cobweb there we go, so you can actually bring these up like this and make some sort of smoke come out, but um, it's really up to you, if you do have it docked obviously you won't be doing that <laughs> not unless the, the engine is actually running, so you can kind of do that and bring that all the way back uh, which is quite cool, so let's go on to the next bit Okay, so for more of this kind of back detail, because there's quite a lot of kind of just random bits of detail, just on the right side of the ship, what we're going to do is going to have four blocks here. So you've got one, two, three, four. So it's joining onto this bit. It's going to be three wide in total. So you've still got this one block to walk around on this side, and you can also get through on this side. And it's going to be too high. So let's build this up like that. And if you wanted to, you could put stone slabs on top. I've actually left it completely clear, just like that. And then if we come onto the other side, we've just got a two by three box in this one. So you've got a way to walk around here like that. And this one again is built up to a total height of two like that. And on the back part here, I just put in a boat. So I used yellow wool for this one. So I've just got one piece of yellow wool here. Then I've got four, and then one, and then four, just like this. And I just use spruce wooden slabs just to put in a flooring for it. So this is kind of like your life raft that they've got. Um, you could also maybe actually raise up some of these, but it doesn't look quite right. So I think probably just put, put in the kind of basic floor for this. And then another little bit of detail here is right next to the smokestack, just on the right hand side of the ship. 
I've just got two stone slabs right there. And then another one just on this side. I've just got a two by two square of iron blocks and then leave a gap and you're just gonna have two here. It's really up to you. You could just add a couple of extra bit bits kind of down um, or a couple of extra things like this. This is mainly just minor details just to kind of fill out the ship itself. So I've just got one more bit for this back bit. And then I just put in an extra sensor here, so I've just left a one block gap, then put down a cobblestone wall. If you don't have that, use a never brick fence or fence. Then a white piece of wall, and I put a quartz slab. Uh, it's kind of up to you if you want to put the quartz slab or a stone slab on top. Um, or you can also do something like this to create another type of sensor. It's really up to you. I just have mine pretty plain like that. But that kind of finishes up this back section here. So now what we're going to do is just build up the actual bridge section. And now to just build this up, we're just going to do a step pattern here. So we're just going to come around here, just go into this point here, and do this again. And then one more time. So we should have five in total on the end. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. And it's just kind of creating this step pattern going up there. So again on the other side, one, so we've got that there, there, and then five. One, two, three, four, five. Then the rest of this you can actually build up to a total height of three. So if you just go around and build this up. And this front part can be a total height of four, as it's part of the actual guard itself for this front bit here. So you kind of get this for the time being. And then if you grab your grey wool, it's just going to go on the inside. So don't do it on this upper level here. What you want to do is have it on this bottom bit here, like that. So you've actually got your decking here, so we can bring this all the way around. Um, and then this creates this kind of guard that you've got here for that part there. And if you grab your stone stairs I use for this one, and I just cut into this part here, put a couple of stone stairs down just so it's on the inside. And I put a block of iron in the back. This is where I had a door in, going into this kind of really small back room as well. So if you want to cut that through you can. It's the same on the other side as well. So. I cut into this part here, put stone stair, stone stair, stone stair, cut your door in, put in the back piece here, and then at least you've got a way up into it like that. Okay, and for the bridge section itself, we've already got part of the actual bridge section as it does kind of join into this bit, so what we're going to do is, if we count five of these, so we've got from the middle part, we just have two on each side, so if you just put a piece of glass, actually it might be easier, and then just have five in total, so you've got two on each side, so we should have three blocks not touching like that. Then we're gonna have three, and then a five on the back. One, two, three, four, five. And three like this. And the glass is just gonna go on the side parts. And the back one is just completely solid. Like that. And then if we just build this one up as well, just this roof part. Just like this. And all I did is I cut into this side part here to create a door on each side. So you've got a door on each of these side parts here. And again, fill in this top part uh, just with your roof. But there'll be bits on. But that is like one of the smallest bridge, bridge sections I've actually built. Um, I'll show you what I've actually done on the interior. This is the only part of the interior that I've done on this ship. Oh, without falling down. Because I've just put in a couple of chairs, some jukeboxes and some crafting tables and that's it. As there's not really too much you can fit in. Um, I've just noticed on this one that I've grabbed my uh, weighted pressure plates and I've just put them across the top part here. I don't think I've put them on these side bits here, so if you just leave those and just go around the side as well, it's up to you if you want to put these bits in. Um, but now what we'll do is we'll just finish off this kind of top bit with the little bit of bits of detail here. And I think we've only got the antenna left, so you're doing really well, guys. Okay, so for on top of this bridge section, what we're going to do is uh, I kind of did a couple of the same things that we did on this front part, just put in a couple of round blocks, but I had never brick fence here. On this back bit, I put in a never brick fence joining onto the back part here. And then right on this front bit, I've got a cobblestone wall just to kind of have a different kind of style there. Um, but again, you can just use never brick. Right in the middle, I put an iron block, and around each of the corners, I just created a cross pattern with stone slabs. And then I have a cobblestone wall, and it's got quartz slab on the top. So if you don't have the quartz slab, use the stone slabs. And if you don't have the cobblestone wall, use the never brick. So then just create this kind of small sensor, which kind of finishes off that bit. 
and then all we need to do now is do this back antenna and we're done. Okay, so now what we're going to do for the antenna is just come onto this back part here and you're just going to have three across the back then you're just going to make this two forwards and there's just going to be one in here and then just create this solid. These two bits here we're just going to add an extra two so we've got this two by two square just added on then add three, one, two, three just onto the back part like that then grab your never brick fence and we're just going to go around the base part of this just like that and then off this first one here we're just going to add two pieces of never brick fence and then we're going to use the cobblestone wall just to come out if you don't have it switch it out for you know fence or never brick fence will look fine just add it onto there and then on the top of this one I just put a cobblestone wall and I went up by four never brick fence in total and on the second one I just went out on each side with never brick fence like that and that finishes off the Sandown class Mindhunter so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have make sure you comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one